The 12,000-acre Lewis and Clark Wildlife Management Area, located just south of Williston, is a major wildlife corridor with an expanding moose population. U.S. Highway 85 runs right through the WMA and is expanding to a four-lane highway because of increased vehicle traffic. People hit whitetails statewide, but we don't hit moose statewide, and, and the impacts of hitting a moose are pretty dramatic to the vehicle and to the occupants, and certainly to the moose. And so we needed to minimize that damage the best we could. One of the options was selected was to provide a wildlife underpass. Over the last several years, there have been numerous vehicle moose collisions on Highway 85. The Game and Fish Department worked with the Department of Transportation and other government agencies to design and construct something that has never been done in North Dakota, a wildlife crossing specifically designed for moose. The purpose of, the, of this project really is to first priority a safe roadway for the general public. The high traffic volumes result in numerous motor vehicle animal accidents that we're trying to prevent. That's number one. Uh, number two is a safe pathway for our wildlife to get to both sides of the road. There were some additional steps taken during the construction of the wildlife crossing to ensure a safe roadway. In addition to the crossing, the crossing was only part of it. We actually put up a wildlife fence also that it keeps the critters off of the roadway itself unless they get it inside. And then we have what are called jump outs. It allows, if a critter gets on the inside, it allows them to jump out, like it says. Zacher said the ultimate goal is to reduce wildlife vehicle collisions to zero. So I'd see it as a win-win for both the wildlife and the traveling public. At the end of the day, there is now a safer roadway for people on Highway 85 and for the wandering wildlife that call the Lewis and Clark Wildlife Management Area their home. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.